The TV control room overlooks the studio. Here is where you have your producer, you have your audio engineer, and you have your video switcher that decides what will be recorded and what goes on the air. Good sound and the proper microphones and their placement are a must in every show. Once the mics are set, it's time to check the audio levels. And you do that here at the audio board. Every audio mixing board around the world are basically the same, with the same functions and the same keys. This row of faders control the audio input of the numbered column. Each slider controls a microphone or other audio sources. By sliding it up, the audio gets louder. By sliding it down, the volume lowers. Next is the pan right above the fader. You can pan to the right, which would be channel two, or you can pan to the left, which would be channel one. I suggest you keep it in the middle. This is your master audio level for all channels. I suggest once you set the master, use the faders to control individual audio. Once your audio is set, next is the video switcher. Every video switcher serves the same purpose, to switch from one camera to the next and the media out. These are your studio monitors to see the three cameras and external media servers. The large monitor is for your preview, the other is for your on-air program. Here you have the camera preset and preview buttons. Only you can see these. Above you have your program on-air buttons. This is what the audience will see when you choose your camera or images. This is the T-bar. This controls which camera or image you want to take for airing. These settings are for effects and transitions. From one shot to the next, there are so many to go through in this video, so I suggest you check your system manual. This has been Basic TV Control Room Operations. It's best you always practice before the shoot. Best of luck on your next video.